Clever Cub Learns to Share. Clever Cub was angry. The little bear stomped into the cave. What's wrong, son? Papa Bear asked. He was just getting ready to go fishing. Skippy Squirrel, Clever Cub grumbled. He won't play with me anymore. Hmm, you didn't growl at him again, did you? Papa Bear chuckled, remembering the last time Skippy had run off. No, Clever Cub answered quickly. I just did not let him borrow my pine cone. Uh, why not? Papa Bear asked. Because he might drop it, or lose it, or break it. Clever Cub stomped as he talked. And it is the best and biggest pine cone I ever found. Oh, I guess Skippy often drops, or loses, or breaks things, right? Papa Bear asked. Well, no, Clever Cub said. But he might. So you just didn't want to share, Papa Bear said. Is that it? Uh, maybe, Clever Cub muttered. Hmm, that is a problem, Papa Bear thought for a moment. You know, I remember a Bible story that might help. I know you love Bible stories. Clever Cub cheered up. Uh, are there pine cones in the Bible? I don't know, maybe, but there were definitely fish, Papa Bear said. I love fish, Clever Cub shouted. I like those slippery salmon you catch. Papa Bear started telling the story as he waded into the stream. This story is about a boy with some fish and bread. I like fish and more fish better, Clever Cub said. Papa Bear agreed. Uh, yes, me too, uh, but this boy brought his fish and his bread up on a hill where more than 5,000 people had gathered. Oh, what were they all doing there? Clever Cub asked. Following Jesus, Papa Bear answered. The people came a long way to see and hear Jesus, and everyone was hungry. So they all took out their fish and bread and ate it, right? Clever Cub said. Papa Bear shook his head. Well, no. You see, most of the people didn't have any food at all. But Andrew, one of Jesus' friends, asked the boy to share his fish and bread. Share? With 5,000 people? Clever Cub looked amazed. Did he have a huge picnic basket? No, Papa Bear said. He had only two fish and five loaves of bread. But he was willing to share what he had. So we gave the food to Andrew, and Andrew gave it to Jesus. Clever Cub scratched his nose and thought hard. Did Jesus eat the boy's lunch? No, Papa Bear said. Jesus prayed and thanked God for the food. Then he broke the fish and bread into pieces and gave them to his friends to pass out to the crowd. Those must have been really tiny pieces, Clever Cub said. That's the amazing thing, Papa Bear said. They weren't tiny at all. Everyone ate and ate and ate until they were full. In fact, there were 12 baskets of leftovers. Wow, shouted Clever Cub. So how do you think the people felt then? Papa Bear asked. Happy, Clever Cub said. And how about Jesus? Happy too, Clever Cub smiled. And what about the boy you shared? Papa Bear asked. Clever Cub scratched his nose. He always did that when he was thinking. I guess he was happy too. Then Papa Bear said, So what about you? Do you think you can share with Skippy too? Hmm. Skippy hates fish. Clever Cub pulled on his ear. He always did that when he was a little confused. Then he said quietly, But he does like pine cones. I think if you share your pine cone, Skippy will be really happy, Papa Bear said. And I will be happy and proud of you for sharing. But how will you feel? Clever Cub smiled. Well, Skippy will probably want to play with me again. And that will make me really happy. How happy? Papa Bear asked. Clever Cub thought for several moments. Finally, he answered. Happy as a hungry bear with 12 baskets full of fish.